Hello and welcome to one of our Aspects training videos. This video is to alert you to the fact that there are already some websites out there that are free and would be very beneficial to use if one of your pupils has literacy difficulties. So I will very quickly demonstrate each one in turn. A whistle stop tour of each of them. The websites in question are Teacher Monster How to Read, Starfall, Doorway Online, Oxford Owl, Books for All, and Load to Learn. Teacher Monster How to Read is a fairly new one that's been brought to our attention quite recently, totally free. I have to say that in first glance, I'm quite impressed. It is similar to Nessie in that the children design a monster and they play a variety of games in order to progress through a journey which will teach them how to read. Starfall been around for quite some time. Again, overlearning of basic phonics and eventually reading. Doorway Online, which came about from a member of a group which Aspects are aligned to. And this website, although around for quite some time, very useful, not only literacy, typing, time and money, so a variety of information with Doorway. Oxford Owl, there is a free version of this and Oxford Owl has 300 free ebooks, including some of the Oxford Reading Tree books. Books for All from Call Scotland is a database of thousands of books available to download in PDF format. The criteria for being able to download one of these books is that the pupil must be print disabled. So that is to say unable to access the printed word, perhaps due to dyslexia on the autistic spectrum and un unable to deal with paper or visually impaired perhaps and books can be downloaded from that website. And Load to Learn, same idea as Books for All, but from the RNIB, Royal National Institute for the Blind. Um, I have to say I like Load to Learn in that you can set up various accounts and access books to your readers. So there's a bit more behind the scenes than there is with Books for All. So here we go, a whistle stop tour. So, first one, Teach Your Monster How to Read. This is me signed in. It's very easy to set up. You have to just basically join and all that's required is for you to provide them with an email address and a password. You then get an email through confirming that you can use their site and as a teacher, you can then add players to that site. So I've added a player, I've just called them Val. It's randomly generated a password for me. But what I quite like about it is in the more section, you can actually print off a password card. So for that particular pupil, you can generate a PDF of their password card and laminate it. And of course, they can use that at their leisure. You can also in the more section, find out the stats about certain users, how frequently they have used it, how successfully they have been, etc. Here we go, if I sign in. So this is telling me that Pupil Val has currently played the first two games, has covered the S and A sounds, and is about to go on to the game for the T sound. So very much following the SAP pin way of learning that we're used to. In the actual pupil section, if I sign in now, you'll get a flavour of what it looks like. You may not get the sound. Apologies for that. Obviously, when you do it for real, you will get the sound. So I've signed in as Val. I've used my password that's been generated by the game. And here we go. So 
so very very visually appealing for the children so we're working on the letter T at the moment and I can choose whether to work with the sheep or the alien at the moment I seem to be hiding the menus up at the top here allow me to customize the monster to a certain degree so I can change his hat I can't change his pants I don't think oh yes I can I can take his pants off wow there you go then so I can modify my monster and you can see that the section that I'm working on is P, and I'm trying to fix this part of the spaceship and this gives you an indication of how they progress through the letter sounds so quite a familiar route when I choose who to actually join up with I'm joining up with the alien and then obviously I have a game to solve so I'm going to quit that but visually very appealing and I have to say I'm quite impressed so far with teach your monster how to read quite like that one next one that you'll be familiar with starfall starfall comes in four categories quite Americanized um, for that reason some people don't like it quite so much as other things but certainly has its place from the ABC category learning the initial sounds they're shown alphabetically but again they will give you an opportunity to overlearn if a child or a pupil is at that level Doorway Online Doorway Online has a variety of sections so covering literacy number work time and money typing including a single-handed typing tutor which is useful for for pupils with uh, physical impairments and memory and matching so you can do pelmanism if a pupil is at one-to-one -one correspondence for example now Dorby online works in the Windows environment the inventor of Dorby online was is currently trying to make sure it runs seamlessly with the iPad using Safari I know that some of the games are now working on Safari but not all of them to my knowledge but he is currently working on that so some good stuff you can see some of the featured articles appearing there um, in the number section I'm sure one of them has the Cuisinaire rods that you'll be familiar with I think it's up to 10 I think don't quote me on that one no perhaps not that one but certainly there is one of these ones that has these Cuisinaire type rods yes there it is there so a useful site Dorby Online Oxford Owl also very useful that's the sign in screen again you can join it's free to join free to sign into and the free version will give you elements of some of the content not all of it but within Oxford Owl this is the sign in section I've already signed in as you can see hello Val Watt and what I want to draw your attention to is the ebooks and there is an ebook library and it contains 350 tablet friendly ebooks available to all Oxford OWL users and those ebooks also include some of the Oxford Reading Tree books too so a variety of things there as you can see with me just scrolling down but it's not just the lower level readers there are for example I spotted at one stage I think Treasure Island was one of the books that was available free in the e-book category so a wealth of resource there for you to use free 
Books for All, hopefully you're familiar with Books for All. Books for All comes from Call Scotland and it is a database which has thousands of books available to download in PDF format. So from, for example, S1 Readers, Private Peaceful, Michael Murpogo books to TJ Maths and Scottish Heinemann Maths. So available to download in PDF format. So again, if you have a child maybe who has visual impairments or physical impairments, or if you have somebody who maybe just needs the assistance of text to help read and write to read the book for them, then you can download it in PDF format and use text help to do the rest. So proceed to website. You have to log in with your Glow details. I'm already logged in with Glow in a different tab. So this is what it brings you to. Not the most glamorous of, of um, interfaces, but if I just try and find, um, let's just try and find private peaceful. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. So we've got it in a variety of formats, different font sizes, obviously. Um, if a pupil has a, a visual impairment, then they might need a bigger text face. And you can then download that. So you could download it onto a pen drive for the, the pupil to use. Or you can actually download, if the, if the pupil is using an iPad, um, there is no reason why it can't be downloaded onto the iPad, obviously being mindful of the space available. But it can be downloaded to the iPad and then opened in either iBooks or if you use the app Claro PDF, the light version is free. And Claro, that's C-L-A-R-O, PDF is one of the PDF readers that will also read that book and allow you to annotate the book as you progress. The last website is from RNIB and it is Load to Learn. And it is very similar to Books for All. So hoping that it's going to load up for us. So I have actually um, joined Load to Learn. It's free to join, but you do have to give them a email address and you do have to jump through a few hoops in order to become a member. So it's not just Joe Public that can be an, a member. I think they do need some sort of evidence that you have a school email address or a Glow email address or something of that nature to give you the, the permissions to join this site. What I do like about this site, though, is that it has a wee bit more behind the scenes than books to learn, and you can actually add members. So you might have a few pupils that require PDF versions of books, and you can add members, and you can allocate books to those members. So there were the members there that I've already added. And if I go back, you can see that I can assign books to those particular members. So I can create reading lists. I've actually created a, a reading list already, first reading list fiction. And within that reading list, I have two members and I have downloaded Harry Potter and Ox uh, one of the Oxford Reading Tree books as well, as well as Gangster Granny, which was also available by David Williams, of course. So, yeah, there are a few hoops to jump through with Load to Learn, but it certainly has more of a class feel to it and more control of who is on which reading list and which books those pupils get access to. So it could be used as a whole teaching resource with various classes made up and each of those classes having their reader added to it. A pupil, I suppose, could be in more than one group. Um, so a more rounded approach than simply downloading one book from Books for All. So those are some of the websites that I would recommend, all free. 
and all to be looked at if you have a pupil with any literacy difficulties. You can find more information, as I'm sure I've said before, within our GLOW pages. So if you wish to add the Aspects site to your Launchpad, if you just log on to GLOW, this is the Aspects tile here. And within GLOW, if you go into the Aberdeenshire section, scroll down, you'll find the Aspects tile. And if you click on the top left hand corner, that will allow you to add it to your launch. Mine's is already added, obviously, so the only option I get is to remove it. But you would just click here and add it to your launch pad. And within the website, there are a variety, or within the Glow pages rather, there are a variety of, of useful nuggets of information regarding literacy, numeracy, and a variety of other things too. So just a very quick showcase, meeting the leads of your learner. The computer's running a bit slow today. And within meeting the needs of your learner, You have literacy and within literacy software, websites, apps, keyboard skills. So the information that I've given you would be in the website section. So have a look at Aspects Globe Pages at your leisure. Hopefully you've managed to gain some information from various free websites that you can use in your class. Thank you for watching.